another look at what's making the local weather scene for Tuesday the 11th of July 2022 where we have a breaking news Indian Ocean Dipole value is the lowest since September 2016 A negative IOD is usually declared when the IOD index remains between minus 0.4 for at least 8 consecutive weeks. The Indian Ocean has been transitioning into a negative IOD pattern for the last couple of months and that is a key point note the last couple of months Australia's large last negative high OD occurred from July to December in 2021, a period that included Australia's wettest November on record. And the uh, negative IOD usually remains below minus 0.4 for at least 8 consecutive weeks. The oceanic temperature pattern has seen the IOD index sitting in a negative state since mid-May and we made it near or below the negative IOD threshold during the last eight weeks or the past eight weeks. The latest weekly value for the week ending on July the 10th was minus 1.14 which is the lowest IOD value observed since 2016. Most forecast models suggest that the IOD will remain in a negative state during the rest of the Southern Hemisphere's winter. And into the spring. Most likely gaining most more strength in the coming weeks. With eight weeks of the IOD index sitting near or below the threshold and more negative values on the horizon, it is only a matter of time before the Bureau of Meteorology declares a negative IOD officially underway. It may even happen later this week. Negative IOD events typically cause above average rainfall over large areas of Australia, particularly in the south and southeast. They also promote cooler than average days across Australia's southeast. So, later this week, we might get some news out of the Bureau of Meteorology which will clearly indicate what I said a few weeks ago above average rainfall leading into spring and possibly into summer. Now we have a look at the latest precipitation and pressure precipitation is provided for at the bottom of the screen.
screen. So, recapping the news, negative IOD, eight weeks. Bureau of Meteorology may officially announce later this week, which means more rain ahead. And we're keeping an eye on the New South Wales and Queensland case. And the interesting uh, information relating to uh, 2016. Hazardous surf warning remains in place. New South Wales waters, Byron, Goffs, Macquarie, Hunter, Sydney, Illawarra, Batemans and Eden Coast. And it was just one for Tuesday. Here in Queensland, it is a hazardous surf warning. Fraser Island Coast, Sunshine Coast, Gold Coast, Wallace. Flood warning remains for the inland rivers, South Australia. Strong wind warning, Tasmania, southwest, central west coast. Northern Territory has no warnings. Western Australia for Tuesday, Newham and Albany coast. That's a strong wind warning for Tuesday. Now here's the uh, Bureau's 12 hour rainfall. By the time uh, this video becomes a uh, public the uh, bureau may have updated as they update these uh, images every 12 hourly And the Bureau's total forecast of rain. 11.9 is the current uh, temperature in Sydney, 10.8 Melbourne, 17.6 here in Brisbane, 17.6 in Perth, 16.10.3 in Adelaide, 11.5 Hobart, a cold one Canberra, 5.5, 26.5 in Darwin. And for Queensland South East, for Tuesday, partly cloudy, a chance of morning for Ginland. Chance of showers, most likely in the afternoon, evening, light winds, overnight temperatures falling between 4 and 10 Celsius, with daytime temperatures reaching between 17 and 20. Percentages of rain, chances 90. Fire danger rating moderate and 5 to 10 millimetres UV index is moderate. Now here's a look at the Pivotal Weather uh, website, it's a GFS model and again this is pressure. Record month for wind power in Australia's national electricity market. And Queenslanders rugged up as last night overnight temperatures plummeted. Queensland residents were required to whip out their slippers, beanies, dressing gowns and toe socks in the morning this morning after waking 
of liking to near freezing temperatures. And here's a look at precipitation. Large high pressure system stretching into all of Australia's states territories brought about a day a very chilly morning in Queensland. Clear skies, very calm winds, the main culprit, allowing temperatures to rapidly drop during the evening and into the morning. Actually, that's uh, back to the north. It's a, a news item on the weatherzone.com.au. And if you uh, don't know, Force 13's automated stream is uh, continuous. Please uh, keep an eye on the stream as I do go live with the latest. Thank you. 